What's up Inky peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill and today we've got a little doubly page to do in my Project Life album. I have two pages left in my 2020 albums to go and I am very freaking excited. I just have to uh, print a couple of photos and my printer, my new printer, hopefully, I'm filming this voiceover a week in advance, hopefully it has arrived by the time this video goes up and I can finally finish 2020 because I'm ready to move on to 2021 and 2022 at the same time. I'm going to try and dual scrap my album so we'll see how that adventure goes. Oh, I just had an idea while I'm just flicking through. Actually, sorry, this is uh, an Elle's, Ellie Studio. I always call it Elle's. Ellie Studio, a uh, little monthly kit from, oh, it'd be yonkies ago, uh, probably two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, and I just had it in my stash and wanted to use up some of the journaling cards. But would you be interested in uh, some Project Life videos this year? where I did a page from my 2021 album and then chose photos from the same week a year later in my 2022 album and did them at the same time. Would that be a cool thing? Would that be interesting? Let me know um, because I would like to try and make my Project Life uh, videos um, just a, a little bit longer over here on YouTube trying to figure out some ways I can do that. So this is my monthly card and I've disappeared somewhere. Oh, there I am to get some little alphas. Uh, also, I just have to interject in this video and let you know about the noises that you might hear. So the children on one side of our neighbors are playing outside in their backyard very, very loudly, which is fun. It's school holidays here in Australia. You do it, you go have fun. Uh, the neighbors on the other side are fixing their motorbike so that's been joyous and then the neighbors in front are renovating their pool area so we've had lots of you know saws and nail guns and all sorts of things uh, but it's been three days of this and i can't wait any longer to do voiceovers <laughs> so i can't escape the noise on on any side so if you do hear some some loud outbursts. I do apologize for that, but it's it's summer and it's school holidays and our numbers are very high at the moment. So everyone's kind of hanging home and doing all of those home renovation projects that they've, they've had on the list for a long time. So while I've been yakking on about my fantabulously quiet neighbors, uh, I've just added a few little, few little doodads to that card. I picked up a sticker sheet from Kmart the other day and it's a really lovely one. Uh, the quality's not fantabulous. Uh, if my, my fellow Aussie peeps will attest that Kmart is a, a fabulous wonderland of all sorts of things that you never thought you knew you needed, but the quality is not superior. It's, it's not right up there. Uh, but this clear sticker sheet is lovely. It's very nice. So this next photo is in our backyard on our little um, play equipment and I've been really enjoying doing uh, a mixture of the the two by three photos along with the three by four I just think it it makes the page a bit interesting to every now and then have a, a smaller photo uh, it does take up time because you have to then basically scrapbook the card onto the phone it's like a tiny mini layout um, but yeah I've, I've really been enjoying that I have been working very, very vigorously on my project life at the moment, uh, which is why I've been able to catch up with 2020 so quickly. Um, I've been doing a lot of couch scrapping and I've already, I think I'm almost finished scrapping January of 2021. Uh, so I've been doing, you know, 10 or so pages a night, which has been really fun. Um, and it's a, a nice little way to to get try and catch up a little bit I don't expect to be as caught up as I used to be back in the day uh, because back in the day I when I first started scrapping I'd watch uh, the two peas in a bucket scrapbook photo uh, sorry scrapbook video process video every week I'd print off my photos for that week and I would be caught up by the end of that day and I will never get back to that because that was when I was 
you know, I had a lot of time. <laughs> now I've got two little, two little inklets that take up a lot of my time, which is lovely. Wouldn't change it for the world. But um, yeah, there's no way I'll ever be truly caught up. But it'd be nice to be in the, the year that we're currently in, I think. Uh, so this is a house. Oh, this is our dream house. So Aaron and I have been figuring out uh, what we're going to do with buying a house. Unfortunately, the pricing market in our area has skyrocketed. Uh, and to give you an idea, a house around the corner from us sold for 700000 I think, uh, at, in, I think it was at, towards the end of 2020, October 2020. And it's now on the market for 1.25 million. So that's gone up half a million plus dollars in uh, a year and a couple of months. So that's slightly terrifying to a first home buyer. Uh, so we've been trying to figure out, we will probably have to move north and inland quite a bit from where we are uh, just to, to find a house that we can afford, but we're, yeah, we're nowhere near um, being ready for that yet. But hopefully this year's our year and we found, we don't know whether we want to buy and renovate or build. Uh, so yeah, it's a journey. It's a it's a whole adventure, um, but we have picked out our our dream build house if we if we do build. Anyway, yakkering on about the the stresses of life that everyone has. Uh, this was funny. The boys decided to cook some. I think they were cooking a cake or something together, and Arch said that he couldn't cook without a chef's hat. So I made. I just got uh, two pieces of A3 paper and looped them around and sticky taped them um, and Arch thought he was like the, the the chef extraordinaire. It was very sweet. These are the stickers that I got from Kmart. So Aussie peeps have a little look in their craft section. They've got some nice little bits and bobs. Uh, I am so in love with the colour of this card. This is just my, my go-to colour at the moment. I just feel like it goes with everything it's like a, a lilac-y kind of color um, I'm also trying to use up some wood veneer but I am trying 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 to keep my project life albums quite thin and not as chunky as they have been in years past uh, it's difficult because I do like the chunky embellishments but I'm trying to limit it a little bit and I guess couch scrapping has been great for that because uh, I don't have a lot of chunky things in my stash mainly just like enamel dots and there's a few puffy stickers but nothing really really big and so that has been um, really really helpful oh my gosh the children next door are so loud I really hope you can't hear them on to the next page uh, so that yellow post-it note's just hiding a few kids from uh, the kids daycare that can't be on camera uh, but first as always I'm going through picking out my cards and there wasn't a lot of card requirements for this one which I do really like uh, I think it makes it go <laughs> a page get caught up a lot quicker um, by the way I just realized if you don't know what I'm talking about with couch scrapping I just take it that people have watched previous videos as well but if you are a new person watching my video hi how you doing welcome to this tangenty corner of the crafty universe uh, I have been couch scrapping for the last few years essentially I make a little scrapbooking mini kit with a range of supplies and I scrapbook on my couch at night and I've been using it to get caught up with project life um, I have a gazillion videos on it over on my patreon uh, which has I think we're up to about 400 50 videos over there that are different than the ones that you see on YouTube and um, they're longer and they're different types of projects um, and they have you know specific focuses or techniques on them uh, and so if you're interested in that the link is always in the description below but couch scrapping I think is the only way that I haven't given up on project life to tell you the truth uh, you know when you're couple of years behind it can be really overwhelming and uh, I think you know the biggest tip that I have found to help me is to have more photo heavy pages uh, instead of having 
as many filler cards as I may have used to, which I will get back to once I get a little closer to the current date of scrapping. Uh, but I think that's been the biggest tip and just having a limited, uh, kind of a limited palette of supplies that you can reach from and not have to make as bigger decisions. I think decision making is something that can really stunt us as scrappers and just as creatives in general. Um, you know, we're always thinking, is this the right choice to put this here? Is there a better option? Do I have a better option over here? Can I check that cupboard and see if I've got a better option over there? And sometimes we take so long in making the decision that, you know, that, that's why I think I'm such a big believer in sticking and plonking and just going with your heart, grabbing something, sticking it, plonking it on the page so that you can enjoy the creative process and not get so caught up in your brain and the decision making. I know I used to be very caught up in making sure that things were in the exact perfect spot and everything was cut the exact right measurements and um, you know it's it's tiring <laughs> to do that um, but I think it's way more fun to just embrace the embrace the decisions that you make on the spot and and go with it anyway ramble over uh, so these oh this was when Violet's hair finally got long enough for me to pigtail it and there should be a process video coming out soon actually or maybe it's already come out mm, might be the next one uh, where Violet was one of the first times that she wore pigtails and it was very cute uh, so of course I had to capture that so this is the last page for 2020 and as a kind of wrap up for the year uh, I did my top nine off Instagram. I think there's a website called top9.com, something like that, if you put it into Google. And it comes up with your top nine um, photos for the year. And I just thought it was a really nice way to kind of wrap up the, the year without without going into too much. Um, you know, this is 2020, so a whole lot happened in 2020, as uh, I'm sure we've all lived through. And so I didn't, I didn't really want to go into a lot of it because I have journaled about um, things during the album. Uh, and so I just thought this was a, a nice little kind of positive wrap up uh, to the year that was 2020. Let's see how this year goes. Adding a few little white details. And I like having my uh, journaling sometimes go a bit sideways. I think it you know, adds a bit of a Ooh, a bit of interest to the page. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, you enjoyed a little double process video over here. And that has given you some inspo to, to, you know, stick and plonk some things in your albums and try and move through those pages um, so that you can enjoy the, the crafty creative process. I hope you've also enjoyed the double videos for December and January. Uh, we will get back to regular scheduling on in February. But thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That really does help my channel be discovered by new inglets. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.